Hey, it's Yash, and in this lesson, we're gonna talk about all the best practices you should be using for AI copywriting in Clay. In the Prompt Engineering Crash Course lesson, we went through the essentials of crafting great prompts in Clay, which is half the battle of AI copywriting. The other half of the battle is right-sizing your AI personalization. One of the most common mistakes we see people make when trying out AI personalization in any tool is trying to write entire messages with AI. Now think about the best messages your SDRs or BDRs send manually today. Are any of them written entirely from scratch? Probably not. At best, the subject line is personalized, the opening paragraph is personalized, and maybe a snippet towards the end. Your ask shouldn't change, nor should the context you provide in any cold message. What the best SDRs and BDRs do in personalization today is personalize the most relevant parts of the message to the person they're trying to reach out to. So we should take the same approach when working with AI. We call this using AI snippets in Clay. AI snippets means crafting only chunks or sentences of full sentences at a time with AI instead of entire paragraphs or messages. By using AI snippets, we can be much more specific about the scope, boundaries, and parameters of what we want AI to produce. When we start getting into multiple sentences or paragraphs territory, the instructions become too long, too broad, and leave too much room for error. That's where generative AI is weakest and when your hallucination rates skyrocket. We've already covered 90% of the approach you should use for AI snippets in the Prompt Engineering Crash Course. The only additional step you should take when crafting full-on AI messages is including your previously generated text in the context or instructions so that you avoid potential duplicates in follow-on text snippets. Let's jump into a quick example. Here in this table, you can see we're generating AI snippets line by line. We've got subject lines, email first lines, email second lines, variations on our email second line just to test a quote, and then a third line, a PS, and then the concatenation of all that text together. This is part one of using that AI snippet strategy that we've talked about, where you craft things one sentence at a time. The other pro tip that we were mentioning is to always reference all your previous variables in the follow-on sentences that you draft. So if we come in here, you can see, for example, we've already included in this prompt, we've also already written this previous sentence. This makes sure that the text your AI generates for later parts of your message still contains a context of the previous parts of the message that you've drafted. So be sure to always add all those variables to each subsequent step of your AI generated snippets and you'll be well on your way to quickly generating beautiful, fully personalized AI messages like the ones we've got in this table here. Check out one of the final copies we've created in an email going to me, referencing a podcast interview I did on non-traditional careers and a weird tradition we used to do at UVA, which we called streaking the lawn. That's everything we've got for AI copywriting in Clay. Up next, we're gonna take a deep dive into lead scoring. See you there.